got to tell you, in 30 years of flight tests, the last thing I expected to cover at this point in my career is a rocket cake. Hey, you know, you're always, you got to shoot everything into space, right? <laughs> it's like, all right, let's shoot a monkey into space, and then we're going to shoot a person into space, and now we're shooting a cake into space. Well, we're 600 and something feet off the ground, but not exactly into space, but you know. A lot more space than your average cake. <laughs> I, I, would, I would definitely think so. I was trying to really sort of discover whether rocketry was a good delivery system for cakes. I'm going to stick with the van, I think, for right now. I am so excited about these kits. I mean, it's like, you know, here's these guys, right? They're coming out here. They're having a great day. It's beautiful out here. You're in the middle of Virginia. It's absolutely gorgeous. Hanging out with their friends, dressing up like a bunch of weirdos. you got Indiana Jones and the Joker standing right <laughs> over there. And, uh, you know, totally having a good time. And, oh, yeah, by the way, you're learning about aerodynamics. You're learning about engineering. You're learning about inertia. You're learning about velocity. Everything that they're learning out here is incredible. I mean, this is stuff that, you know, like when you're a kid and you're sitting in science class, you're like, why are you teaching me this? Like, I don't need this. It's like, actually, you kind of do, you know. And it's like, I mean, what we do every day in the bakery, you know, at Charm City Cakes, we're always using math and science and chemistry. Even when we're delivering cakes, you know, we're thinking about inertia. We're thinking about velocity. We have pressure bar systems that we've built that go in the back of our vans to kind of hold our things because, you know, the, if we're traveling in a direction and then we need to turn, well, the cake wants to keep going in that direction, right? <laughs> so what do you do? you got to stick a big pole that goes down into the middle of it that's attached to the ceiling, you know, just like random things like that. And so, you know, teaching kids really uh, like practical uses of math, science, and engineering, I think this is absolutely incredible. I helped uh, one of the teams to actually go and retrieve their egg, and I was sitting there listening to these guys, and just the way that they were talking to each other, and they're figuring out all this math in their head, I was like, wow, these guys are like totally together, man. Like, they could, they could pass the SATs right now. As you start growing up, and you're like, okay, this is these are the things that I do. I decorate cakes. I use engineering. I use this. I use this. I see how excited these kids get. And that excitement is so infectious. And it, not only is, the, is it the kids that are out here having a good time, but it's like all of us and like all the adults. Look like, the oh my God, they're having a blast. I, I met one guy who's a golden knight, you know? And he's like, yeah, it was like a green beret. He was a golden knight. Now he's out here working with the, with, with the rocketry challenge. I'm like, that is so cool. Like, this is amazing. I think the kids really do inspire. And it's like you know, us sort of as adults kind of like, like, oh yeah, by the way, it's nice to have fun once in a while too. Aero TV is brought to you by. If you own a Cirrus today or if you're considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidyne, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidyne Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9. Combining the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value.